There's our boy. Looks like he's ready to make some TV magic. Oh, God help us all. Whoa. What did you guys do to the RV? Oh, uh, yeah. It's from our new marketing budget. Our mobile billboard. <laughs> it's chilling. OK, let's do this. Long drive ahead. Freezing out here. What are you doing? Oh. I made a video for you. So did Mom. So you're the little monkey that stole my phone. I've been looking everywhere for it. Yeah, I wanted to make it a surprise. Well, it is, sweet face. Thank you. Love you. Hey, get inside. It's freezing. Go, 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 go. Hey, sorry. I'm not even gonna say goodbye. I didn't want to wake you guys up. I just wanted to slip away. I'm sorry. Be safe, okay? It's gotta be hard leaving sometimes, huh? Yeah. Sometimes. Bill, how long we got? Uh, about a seven-hour drive. Then we take a boat to the middle of nowhere where we leave you for dead. That gives me plenty of time to further establish my dominance over my poor younger brother here. Oh, is that right? Well, I've been practicing online, so you better watch out. Game on. Well, that one? I mean, is that really... That, that's the one that you want to move? I'm just saying that's the way you want to start it? We're, we're, are we going to trash talk each other in this game? <laughs> it's already over. Smart ass. <laughs> Final recap. All right, you got four GoPros, one Black Magic, one HTV with night vision. Oh, and here, lens wipes. Use them. I'm tired of the lack of footage because the lens is dirty. Take it. Take it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Jesus. Okay, so final location recap. We're going to circle up with our guide about 70 kilometers west of Tomogamy. It's very, very remote. Nothing for miles. There's a little hunting camp called Bearskin Lake is the closest thing. Used to be a logging mill. Um, oh, apparently our guide lives there. Great. Uh, topography? Uh, plenty of lakes and rivers, some edible plants, uh, mushrooms. Be careful. You eat one lousy mushroom. What? <laughs> <laughs> Memories of season yeah. one. Well, let's not have a replay of that. <laughs> no, but if I eat something gross, the viewers love that. I think you love that. Yeah, I do. I really do. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> But the viewers do, too, and this is new audience for us, so... She's right. She's right. This is our chance to take the show really big. Don't you worry, buddy. Dougie's got it under control. Uh, yeah, well, I certainly hope so. There's a lot riding on this. Yeah, and I'm not ready for a real job. So. Thanks for the overwhelming confidence, guy. <laughs> Oh, you got this. I know, I know. You, you, you got this. I'm, I'm feeling there. so... I'm feeling the love. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Last one in buys. Hey, not too long, guys. Days are shorter and shorter. We gotta get out there. You guys, I'm gonna hit the head. Gonna give birth to a calf out of my ass. <laughs> what about the inch? What is up? Um, I I'm just gonna talk to somebody about where our guide is. All right, Bill, you do that. <laughs> it's a nice town. You didn't happen to notice a hospital on the drive-in, did you? Mm. No, you'd be lucky to find a bottle of aspirin here. That's what I figured. Great. Hey, look, man, um, for further record, I know you're going to go out there and you are going to do a great job. We all do. All right. Thanks, Slim. What, are you getting all sentimental on me now? 
No, I'm, I'm not. I'm just trying to find a nice way to say it. Terry, spit it out. Just don't fuck this up. Get us a real show. You know, no more fart jokes, no more goofball stuff for me to cut around. This network show deal might be our chance to make some real money, and I don't want your ego to get in the way of the team. Breakfast is, says he needs a little time. Seriously? <laughs> I don't think our guy's playing with a full six pack. Bill, you realize I, I've got to build a fire in a shelter before the sun goes down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to go talk to him? Oh, Jesus Come on, Christ. Do it. Go. Use your star static charm. Get him off his ass. Come on. You're an idiot. Bro. Go. His name is Duncan. Duncan? Yeah. Do it on the end. Doug, Doug Woods. Real pleasure to meet you, Mr. Woods. Are you a fan of the show? Would be, if I had the cable. Yeah, there's that. So, uh, you're pretty familiar with these parts, huh? This is this your hood? Wouldn't be much of a guide if I wasn't. So, any expert advice? What? for a hotshot outdoorsman like yourself? <laughs> Heck, nothing I wouldn't tell myself every time I go out in the bush. Oh, yeah? What's that? That if I die, a bear will probably find my body way before any search party does. See you on the boat, Mr. Woods. <laughs> Uplifting. Good. Yeah. Just... Oh. Angie, Terry, this is Duncan. Duncan, Angie, Terry. Okay. Yeah, how's you doing? Thank you. This is uh, some engine you got here, huh? Oh. oh. Need a shallow draw and navigate these waterways. Comes in real handy in the back lakes during the moose season, eh? That's impressive. No. Only the best. <laughs> Same as always. Five days alone, making TV magic, then we pick you up. Anything goes wrong, we track you on the sat phone, we haul your ass out of there. Okay. Ooh. Must be nice to have a lifeline. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. This is what you do. All right. Hey. Hold that. Hold that. All right. Bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> Bony knuckles. Season three! Season Woo! three! Please, don't start the new season complaining about a soaker. Well, I tell you what, any time you want to be the guy out here on his own, you let me know, because that'd make a great comedy show, ass. 
Hey, don't forget, eat some gross. Hi, everyone. Well, here I am, in the wilderness of the great Canadian North. My team just dropped me off, and I'm completely on my own. I won't be seeing anyone for another five days until they come pick me up. The scenario I'll be playing out is that of an amateur nature photographer who got lost in the woods and totally turned around. And as always, my producers have packed my backpack. And I don't know what I'm going to get. So let's see what we got in here. You got a hat? Camera. Got a flash. Oh, that's bright. I said amateur photographer. Can of amp energy drink. Apple. Swiss Army knife. And a stick of gum. The first thing I'm going to want to do is hike into that tree line. Once there, I can figure out exactly how I'm going to survive these next five days. As you can see, I've started building my shelter. I'm using this large fallen branch, and I'm laying in these cedar branches at an angle. It should keep me nice and toasty. The idea here is to make sure that we... Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck, motherfucker! Oh! Oh! Okay, let's document that. You see that? That's right under the nail. Oh. Yeah, day one and I'm already bleeding. Oh, that hurts. One, two, three. Oh! Oh, that feels better. Clean myself up and get back to my shelter. Hello there. Yep, I just finished this tasty soda. I'm going to show you how to start a fire using a soda can. What you're going to want to do, grab some earth, moist dirt, and polish the bottom of the can. I've been doing this one for about a half hour. That's right, a half hour of constant polishing. Very good at it. <laughs> no more fuck ups. <clears throat> what we do is we place the can in a position so that the sun can bounce right off it, find the sweet spot, and let the sun do its work. Come on, that's cool no matter how you cut it. Oop, don't want to burn the camera. <laughs> All right. More wood. More wood. Sexy voice, I have something to live for. <laughs> Hold up, no one wants to talk to you. Hey, pal, all good? Yeah, all settled in, just checking in on you guys. Is that music? 
Oh, yeah, it's off Terry's laptop. Hey, I gotta tell you, buddy, Duncan set us up in a primo spot. Angie was off getting B-roll today. I caught two good-sized trout, grilled them off. Now we're in this tangy scotch. We're all so drunk. You know, I'm sleeping under a tree, right? Nice, buddy. That's why you're gonna be famous in 11 different countries. From your lips. Hey, put Terry on. Slim! <laughs> Hey, how, uh, how's today's food looking? Pretty good. Some minor fuck-ups to cut around. Oh, yeah, that's to be expected. <laughs> Smart ass. Hey, listen, I've hiked into Gull Lake. I've set up a shelter. I'm going to stay here. So pickup will be the same as drop-off. Got it? Yep. All right, you go back to your little fancy party. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. <laughs> and they're worried about me. Something, uh, some sort of, yes, yeah, sort it of was a noise, woke me up. I literally felt the earth shake beneath me. Whew. There's no storm. Yes, it was an earthquake. They're rare, but they do happen. I guess there are no aftershocks, so. <sighs> Back in the sack. Well, it's day two on the Canadian Shield. And even with a shelter and a fire, it sure is nice when the sun comes up. Yeah, the sun will be up. Holy shit. Look at that, look at that, look, look, look. It's like a perfect line right down the lake. Jesus, maybe that had something to do with the sound I heard last night. That's no lightning. But we gotta investigate this. From wilderness show to detective show. Follow me. Settle in for the long, harsh winter, so he's ready to pack on the pounds. These fish here are going to be a huge feast for him. That's odd. You just walked right by him. I love fish tonight. 
Still, maybe that wolf knows something I don't. Better safe than sorry. take a chance on those fish. So let's see if we can trap some small game. Okay. Here we go. Ah. See that? That right there? Those droppings. Most likely rabbit. I hate to kill any animal, but in survival conditions, everything's fair game. And a big fat rabbit sure would be tasty right about now. Let's see what we can do. Now, one of the simplest, most effective traps is called the figure four deadfall. And what you need for this is three sticks and a big rock. But it's very, very simple. Put a piece of bait just on the tip of stick C over here. Our furry little friend will crawl in all curious and hungry. And with any luck, he'll trigger the trap. And that will kill any small animal. All right. Now let's set this up again, so you guys can see how I did it. Let me think of big rock. Heavier than it looks. Stick A, stick B, stick C. You want to make sure the grooves and the notches all line up. You want to put a rock. Ha! Okay. Now, for bait. Rabbits love apples. Now, we wait. Say I never did anything for you, Angie. Okay. So, this morning, I set three traps. See if we got any food. Oh, look at this. Wait for it. It looks like we got some food. Oh, I tell ya, it'll be nice to get some warm meat in my belly. Ah, oh, can it be?
as you can see, I've moved away from camp. You don't want any dead animals, blood, or guts anywhere near where you're sleeping. You'd invite unwelcome guests like coyotes, wolves, bear. What you want to do is take Bugs here, lay him on his back like this. Take your knife, and you want to make a nice long cut from the breast all the way down to the belly. Once you've made your first cut, you want to work your thumbs in and under the fur all the way around, kind of like a giant tangerine. Pull it apart. When you get down to the leg, you might need to snap it, make a shallow cut all the way around the paw. It should all slide off. Next, a nice slice right from the breastbone down to the belly. This time you want to get deep. And that reveals rabbit innards. Mm. OK, last but not least, sorry, pal, cut off the head. And there you have it, sumptuous wild rabbit ready to cook. Come on. What's this piece of shit? Can you hear me now? Love it out there, but just be careful, okay? And we will be here when you get back. And so will Eve. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Yeah, I'm an ass. So whatever it is, it's back. That's probably that wolf. Wolves travel in packs, so I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. So, I just finished my first rabbit. Delicious. And while I could easily eat the second, it's probably a wise idea to save it for tomorrow. After all, my traps may yield nothing. I don't want to be hungry tomorrow. But I don't want to keep the rabbit with me here at my shelter. I don't want to attract any animals like our friend Mr. Wolf out there. So what I'm going to do is hang it from a high branch out of reach of any large animals. I didn't have any rope with me. That's where a camera strap comes in handy. It's made of a tightly woven nylon and cut into thin strips. It makes a terrific rabbit rope. All right, so I've got my homemade rope with a stick tight on the end. I'm gonna try and get it over that branch and hoist up Mr. Bunny. Oh, almost. Oh, one more time, hang on. Yeah, oh, oh, come on. Oh. oh, one more time, hang on, hang on, we almost got it. So shit! And a three. <laughs> First try. Okay. All right. Piece of cake. Now, 
an important and often overlooked aspect of survival is keeping your mind active. The isolation and loneliness can drive many to lose hope. As you know, I like to play chess against myself. what time it is. I'm guessing it's the middle of the night. The sky just opened up. But I am staying relatively dry. So is some extra bit of firewood that I've got. I throw a little bit on every so often just to make sure that the fire doesn't die. I'm actually really happy with this shelter. And the fallen tree and the pine and spruce branches as a roof. I'm gonna stay relatively dry all night. I'll check in with you guys in the morning. dry my wet, cold ass. <laughs> uh, I hate you guys so much right now. In your scientifically designed waterproof tents. What the fuck was that? sucked. Yeah. Do 
between the rain and... The wolves. Whatever the fuck that was. I didn't sleep at all. My back is killing me. Fucking wet, wet ass. Sh shut up, geese! It's day three in the Great Canadian Shield. My shelter served me great last night. It shielded me from the rain and the heavy winds. On the breakfast menu this morning, wild... Come on! Fucking lousy piece of shit. Okay, 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 okay. Two delicious rabbits. Let's see if I got as lucky today. Oh, looks like I'm not the only hunter in these woods. Yeah, most likely a bear or that wolf came across my trap, slipped over the rock, and just ate whatever I caught. Let's see if we're any luckier with the other traps. This wolf's probably thinking, that's my lucky day. There's food under every rock. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe he felt sorry for me and left me one, seeing as I did all the work. Mine. I put the fucking phone on the bag. I put it on the bag. Someone's clearly messing with me. Let 
rabbit, and then that scream at night. My traps. Now the sat phone is gone, and the chess pieces have moved. You know any wolves who can play chess? There's someone clearly out here. I got two more days. That's it. I'm gonna make my way around the lake and then I'm gonna come up to pick up point. <laughs> I swear to God, Terry. I swear to God, if this is you and Bill and Angie, if this is your way of teaching me a lesson, of fucking with me, oh my God. <laughs> I will be really, really, really fucking pissed off at you guys. Terry, my spidey senses are screaming at me to get the hell out of here. I mean, crocodiles, snakes, bears, bring them on. But psycho mountain men? I have no interest in tangling with. I'm gonna ditch my fancy digs here. I'm gonna move out onto the cliff. I'll try and get some footage for the show, but... This is starting to feel really messed up. So let's assume you've been lost in the woods for several days now, and you're confident that a rescue party is out looking for you. In that scenario, you wouldn't want to be in the dense forest, but out in the wide open, where you'd have a greater chance of being seen. serve as an ideal spot for my next camp. Just on top of the ridge there is an open area that's clearly visible from the sky as well as the surrounding lakes. And this rock face will serve as a good shelter. The shield be from the wind and the rain. Now we just have to make it a little cozier. Let's get to it. Home sweet home. Welcome to my new camp. Let's go scrounge up some food now that we've got our fire going. See any fish down there?
So here I am at the creek, which is not only my new water source, this is also a great spot for finding local food. Small fish, crayfish, frogs, anything buggy. Recognize this? So I'm not alone out here. I got a psycho fan. Oh, this is a great spot for you guys to drop me. And the mystery of the missing sand phone is solved. And Buddy decided to take it apart. Well, at least I know I'm not going crazy. This is starting to feel... Chest moves! I set a three camera security perimeter. Asshole sits one foot in this camp. Smile, you're on fucking camera.
Whose whose idea was Northern Ontario? And Terry? Why couldn't it have been Bahamas or Santa Barbara? Surviving Santa Barbara. I'd watch that show. some food. I'll try and make it something gross for you, Bill. Fucking cameras down. Oh, no. this is, this, that's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm fucking done, Terry. This is bullshit. I can deal with the outdoors and the fucking animals and the weather, but I can't deal with a fucking psycho chess playing lumberjack, Terry. I'm done. It's over. You're gonna have to cut this together and make it look like five days in post. I'm gathering my fucking equipment and I'm fucking getting the fuck out of here, all right? This is ridiculous. Fuck you! Fucking asshole. All right, guys, that's it. As soon as I'm done here, I'll pack up all my gear. Come to scoop me up, okay? It's the best I can do. This one's for you, little bro. <coughs> well, I've survived five days here in the forests of northern Canada. While the wilderness can be harsh and unforgiving, it can also provide you with all the necessary elements for survival. I've moved myself to an elevated spot with an open area above me, and I've thrown some fresh pine and spruce needles on my fire. That'll create a smoke signal that's visible for miles. And then, the help will arrive. You hear that? The help will arrive. So hurry up, guys, get off your lazy asses, and come get me. All right, enough is enough. Enough is enough. 
God damn it! Duncan! Is that you? I know you're out here! Come on!
Harry? Guys? I'm gonna get the Ned kit. I'll be right back, okay? Hang in there. You hold on. Mayday! Mayday! This is an emergency. Over. Mayday! We need. Mayday, we need help. Can anyone read me? Over. Kilometers from Bearskin Lake. We need an emergency medical evac. Please read me. Over. Do you read me? There are people dying. Over.
Someone, someone should know. Bill, Angie, and Terry are dead. I'm pretty sure I, I killed the thing that did it. I don't know what it was. Hundreds of miles from anywhere. In case I don't make it. Joe. I knew the first time I saw you, I was a goner. I could survive. North Pole. I was no match for that smile. Holly, my baby. My baby girl. I love you. I love I love you so much. It hurts my heart.
point we can't say with any accuracy what the scope of the attack is. Uh, the initial global air attack targeted the world's largest and most densely populated cities and military installations. Uh, New York, Los Angeles, London, Mumbai, Beijing. Get down! Uh, now, the initial global attack only lasted 97 minutes, but managed to cripple most of the world's communication infrastructure. All we know is that the attack is of unknown origin. Not of this world. Um, now, the last reports we had were that several alien aircraft were shot down by Northern military defense forces. And authorities had been pleading with people to get as far away from the densely populated urban centers to get as far away from them as possible. And if you're, if you manage to escape it, if you can hear me, if, if you're out there, if you're out there, good luck. my boat it's me Doug Woods where's the rest of your crew they're all dead dead what the hell's going on I don't have time to explain just just get on the boat and we'll talk while we're moving mr. Woods I really need you to get out of my boat Duncan I'm not arguing with you just get on the fucking boat you can do <laughs> Checkmate. 